Good day, everyone. Welcome to Basel Fair 2019, where the sausages are getting more and more expensive, um, but the fair is actually quite good. The watches are great, and they have amazing people like Mr. Schweifler here. We have on this side Nicholas Faux, the man, the myth, the legend, probably the greatest writer in the English language of anything luxury related to jewelry. I would perfectly agree. That's yeah, what we like to hear. Yeah. Now shake your hand. You have the best taste in literature. Well done. <laughs> and of course, Carl Friedrich Schweifler, who needs no introduction, and I'm your humble servant, Waco. So, how are you, sir? I'm very well, thank can, you. Can we talk a little bit about Monaco? And I do apologize for not making it. Thank you for mm. the invitation. Um, so, Arts in Time. Tell us a bit about your concept shop and what the idea is behind this. Well, you know, since I started the Bertou Adventure, mm -hmm. I found that uh, niche brands like Bertou and others uh, which exhibit next to us here in Basel or at SIHH don't really get the attention they, they should be getting. Because most of the time there will be you know, a marginal appearance in one of the larger multi-brand stores and where everyone is concerned about selling you know, the Profitable stuff. Profitable stuff. Uh, easy to sell yeah. stuff. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And so, they motivate uh, salespeople by giving them televisions and things like that. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, or maybe that's a little old daddy. Maybe people don't give televisions anymore. Yeah, iPhones. You give them iPhones. Right? iPhones. I want uh, Apple Watches. Apple Watches. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. We love the Apple Watch. It's and very I, good. But I love the fact that you are also and uh, have always been a collector of horology in general. But also, you, you've been mm. a champion of independent watchmaking. I remember when yes. we were discussing this wonderful project that we did last year, which is the um, sort of re-edition of the 1860. Um, I said, well, you know, it's interesting. There's a real spirit, spiritual link here between the dial of this watch, which I love, mm -hmm. and uh, Dufour's um, uh, uh, Simplicité. And you said, well, actually, when I went to pick up my Simplicity, yes, I, I, I noticed exactly. that as well, you know? And so I, I was almost, always close to, you know, this type of watchmaking, passionate about uh, things Mr. Dufour, uh, the watches uh, Mr. Dufour makes. And um, our neighbor, MBNF, uh, it's really also uh, for me a role model in this type of watch. Correct. So basically, I thought it'd be great to to give a provide a platform and uh, something original where we could we could kind of all gather and. Uh, Why do it in Monte Carlo? Why not London? Well, this is a coincidence because we had this location mm -hmm. in Monte Carlo and uh, we didn't need a second shop mm -hmm. Would you like to join us? Please, please join us. Ah, she's, she's hiding. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we didn't need a second trip out with him. Of course. And, How uh, can you say that? Yeah, I mean, well, honestly, if, fair, I, right. if I were Monegasque, I'd be really no. outraged. <laughs> have any, have the, I we mean, have I feel the town is underserved by having only one, one Chopin boutique. I mean, it's probably not that big either. We have a wonderful location. How small is it? Which How many is square meters? The location is not huge, but... Uh, exactly. So that's why you need a second store. I mean, but honestly, but there we are. You didn't do it. But that's very you. That's amazing. very you. Food why sell your right. own products when you could sell somebody else's? Well, he's got both. Well, <laughs> that's that's yeah, yeah. the Carl Friedrich <laughs> way. Do a great watch no. and then keep it secret. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anybody who might buy it. <laughs> Shit, uh, we got it. We're in danger of selling goods to Monegasque. Uh, what can we do? We open a multi brand store with other people's okay. stuff in it. Uh, okay. Well, Carl Frederick, may I ask you, how did you select the brands that you decided to showcase there? Well, I, I selected them uh, really by personal uh, affection, yes. uh, passion, and uh, I was thinking who has a similar approach that we have at Bertou or right. for NUC and and basically, um, it was really a, a short list of, of short things, list. Uh, short, long list. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, it's either about the creativity, yeah. the finish, right. or both. Okay. And um, the way the attention to detail and all the things I like. Right. So, so for example, Uwerk would be they brought a new sort of uh, time telling language to. to yes, to well, Uwerk uh, is, is. And knives. Is a, and, and knives. Is a Are you doing any Chopin knives? It's very much on the creative side yes. and very much on the innovative indeed, side. Indeed. And then Grubel uh, has. Grubel is, is. Technical, but technical, technical, technical innovation. Insane. I mean, insane. And, like, don't uh, understand that stuff. And the finish in detail is just. Uh, it takes them two and a half days to polish it's a bridge. It's a huge benchmark, yes. you know. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed. Well, I mean, so, so they say. 
<laughs> I could do it in five days, I'm sure. Yeah, I could do it in, yeah, probably a month and a half. <laughs> and, and okay, so that's that's wonderful. And, and thank you so much for in, inviting me to um, your, your, your domain in uh, Bordeaux, Monastier. That was a lovely event. Um, and it was also thank a great you. way to sort of uh, look at the new LUC watches. Um, let's start maybe with this wonderful flying tool beyond, which I, well, I adore. Um, micro rotor, so built on off the platform of the 1.96, is that correct? Cool. Yeah, well, I, w I always wanted to add a tourbillon to the 1.96. Amazing. And um, How long has that taken you to do? 20 years? It uh, took 20 years, yeah. There you go. But I never, we never always do it in a hurry, that's he, what I think. But we only started five years ago, uh, yeah. seriously. Yeah. Yeah. God's sake, that's almost um, instantaneous. But that's what I like about you, Carl Friedrich. Yeah. You do it properly, do you know what I mean? There's no, no messing yeah. around. No. No. And it is a beautiful watch because it is so elegant. It's a stunning yeah. watch. Well, you know, to be fair, I mean, once LUC was launched in '97, they followed up quite quickly with a tourbillon, right? But that was a quattro yes, tourbillon. Yes, but that was a quattro tourbillon. And, and with a bridge in the front, yeah. And you have to wind it. Precisely. And but but also and this one is self-winding and, and beautiful uh, as well. Equipped with a mo uh, micro rotor and still runs. But for it's, it's hours. Uh, you've done the power reserve. You've cranked up the power reserve considering we did pass your weekend test. Yeah, yeah, Although why you would want to take that watch off, off at all, I, I wonder, let well, alone that's, the you really that's like a fact. It. That's I think a fact. it's a beautiful watch. So my, my question is, because it's it, we, you're using the 1.96 as the base, mm. you could actually make one in the same dimensions as the original 1860, which is 37.5. I was expecting this, precisely this question <laughs> well, Wouldn't that be you? cool? I was wouldn't sure. you think that same watch in 37.5 would be amazing? You no, know, I was thinking yeah. about that just two minutes ago. Were you really? Yes, I was. Should we, should, we do, should we do it together? To I think that'd be a very good idea. Absolutely. I, I love you. that. I love that. <laughs> I think that's a brilliant idea. Because it's, it's a yeah. beautiful watch, and to just have that, yes. just have less of it on the wrist would be Precisely. so much more. Yeah. Precisely. I mean, I know it's paradox, but you are yeah. a paradoxical I, I, man. I you make it. stuff and then you hide it away from the customer. So, to make a more discreet watch, to make a more discreet watch would be entirely the right thing to do. Correct. Yeah, so I think that would be lovely. Yes. And 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 in. I think there would just be this wonderful, because there are so many sort of overt and very demonstrative tourbillons today, but to have the ultimate in terms of yeah. the sort of Zen, puristic, reductionist, uh, you know, humble and discreet tourbillon. Agreed, so I, I think... Have we got the watch it, here or like is it uh, sold already? I think it's, it's like we have seen, we've done this before. We were sitting here. We were sitting here. Yeah, <laughs> last, last, last year we surprised no, you, though. No, last year we <laughs> saw, yeah, it was a sort of ambush. And, and you know, this is the reason why Christine came into the room, because she wanted to make sure she hears worry. everything we say here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't well, know I was uh, here. It was actually, if yeah. you recall, last year was when we finalized the design also exactly. for our collaboration, yeah. which was really wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that we, we have maybe something else in the, the pipeline yeah, as well. Yeah, we do, we do. Um, which we can, we'll discuss off of camera. Mm -hmm. um, we do. <laughs> I <laughs> sold that to an English to a French collector living in England. You did, thank one. you very yeah. much. No, it's and a very I mean, cool guy as well. Yeah, it's a beautiful yeah. watch. It's a beautiful, beautiful thank watch. Thank you very much. Really. Um, Nick, do you have any questions? Um, well, any of the stuff that we can't talk about on, on camera. Oh, let's talk about oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> no, on, one, on one, of one of the rare occasions when I would be discreet. Oh, you're very good. Thank you very much. It's, it's always great pleasure. And I'm just cross that you didn't open this gallery in London. I think it's well, who Brexit. Knows? Who knows? There's possibility. But you're opening a new store in London, aren't you? You're opening... Uh, we're opening a, a new store in London. Yeah. Nick, we're doing a lunch uh, together. We I are believe we are doing a lunch yeah. together, yes. We're only a few months late, but... Uh, uh, months? Maybe a year? Uh, maybe a year, but I'm or very confident we'll be, we'll be open, open in April. In our lifetimes? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> please, please. I mean, I'm, yes. hoping, I'm hoping I live to see that day, so... Um, please, me too. <laughs> Because so, so, love, congratulations on the new twist. Well, definitely. the only thing I can say, <laughs> never order an elevator in Italy again. Really? Yes, because Ooh. that's that's one thing that really set us back. I think back. they call them stairs. You know. No, 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 yes. because you, you, you've yeah. got a proper elevator. Uh, yeah. 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 How yeah. many stories yeah. is, the, is, the, is the shop? Three. Okay. Yeah. That um, would be a nice, dedicated men's area downstairs. Those are magnificent shoes. Yeah. Are they, are they Eric Cook? Mm. They're Eric Cook, yeah. So, could you pan down to, to Nick's shoes? They're really good. You have, yeah. You know who's obsessed with your shoes? Um, uh, Anne-Marie Colbin. Anne-Marie Colbin and Jean-Claude Colbin on um, Charvet. And, and, uh, and they, mm. they adore Nick. And, and they well, adore them. Yeah, and they say, and then Anne-Marie's always like, this man has the most exquisite Charvet shoes. Charvet is a wonderful store. I'd love yeah. it. Right. Don't one of those yes, in Exactly. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could do that. Well, well, You'd avoid selling your watches, you could sell ties, and somebody else's ties. Maybe you help me find a location. Then we you could, could sell them, maybe they could make ties for, for you, for your men's area. 
Indeed. Indeed. I love Chave. It's, it's yeah. brilliant, brilliant. And family company. Lovely people. Absolutely lovely people. Um, and actually, you know, very similar uh, spiritually. Mm -hmm. I mean, discreet, uh, uh, kind, uh, you know, genteel. Yes. You know, that was exactly right, because I, I had the fragrance, you know, the, in, the, mm -hmm. in the little champagne bottles. And yeah. I said, I know somebody in England who could distribute that for you. And like, they gave the answer, Carl Friedrich would really appreciate. They said, no, 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 we might sell too much then. <laughs> 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 and they seemed genuinely appalled that I suggested this. Uh, I must say, I like your new version of the twist. I think it's a cool watch, and I love the fact that it's a Calatia Fleury watch as well. Thank you. Um, and, and it's nice that you're, you know, you're yeah, keeping the Calatia did you notice the uh, Did you notice the touch, the new touch on this watch? Tell us, please. It's, it's a date. It's a date. It's the first uh, QF with a date. I oh, is it? I'm, I, yeah, I yes, take your word for it. I wouldn't know. I, I very honestly confess that so far we didn't manage to get the, the version with the date through that. Yeah. Is it because of the, it's, the just, test. it's just such a brutal test? Yes. yes. And now it pushed us so hard until we made it work. Wonderful. Compared to the uh, Seal of Geneva, what would you say are the key differences between that and the Calité Fleury? Well, the key difference is the... Apart uh, from the geographical location. It is really the, the other tests that you have to F go uh, through. Fiabilité and... Fiabilité. Well, in, in the old uh, days, the Geneva seal... Uh, uh, and the crash, basically. Yeah. The crash yeah, yeah, test. Exactly. You know. yeah. It wasn't a functional test. Yeah. It was just an aesthetic criteria, you know. Yeah, I mean, and it was basically uh, to stop the American cheap watches from... Exactly. Yeah. Well, at, uh, Cali uh, at uh, Geneva seal, okay. they now came in with... Um, with also precision tests, right. you know, of, which is very, it's a very good thing. Very cool. But the the crash test and the fiability test and so on is not as. So would you say it's a more rigorous test? Yes. Just yeah. less well known. Yeah. So how many watches do you do that are Calité Fleurier and Seal of Geneva? Well, there was only one single series of watches made ever. Yeah. And. This was a tourbillon, a triple C, yes. which we exhibit next door in our tourbillon exhibition. Mm -hmm. That was the only watch we ever made, uh, Calité Fleury and Geneva Seal, and Cosque. And Cosque, yeah. And uh, it was by special permission from the Geneva Seal Commission. That allowed you to and have a watch made outside the canton. You can do it once. Right. No, but that's a proper thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the trifecta, I believe it's called. Yeah. Well, on the subject of trifectas, you know, I, I love the fact that uh, Carl Frederick was 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 on the uh, had won the Geneva Grand Prix twice in a row, essentially. Yes, right. we tried to get him to win it three but times. This but is he what didn't I said. Why watches. not? Oh, he didn't enter any watches. You're being too nice. And they made him leave the room at one point. I mean, uh, to tell, which, tell we, to us which, about that. Nick. Well, to which we said. If Carl Friedrich won't, can't vote for himself, we have to do it for him. <laughs> so even if we didn't like the watch, which of course we did, we all yeah. vote. <laughs> no, but this is for the, uh, the, the, the minute repeater. I mean, that's, yeah, I mean, it's a great watch. down the best sounding minute repeater. We were in, we were in Singapore. Mm. And you could hear it in Singapore, probably. I did. Geneva. I heard it from Geneva. From Geneva. <laughs> it, it was playing in Geneva. We heard it in that Singapore. Good, that good. <laughs> yeah, that was a hell of a watch. No, I think we'll enter some watches again this year. Really? Yeah, yeah but okay. you, be careful. You might yes. actually win. Third time's a charm. I know you. I know you're. I know you're against all this high-profile activity. But <laughs> well, I, won't, I, won't, I won't be having fun with you in the jury, so that's. <laughs> But, uh, well, I mean, that's the great thing. You wouldn't want to miss that. Absolutely. I'd only like to win to be back in the jury. To yeah. Uh, what are you doing? I know, I know. What better, way to, what better way to spend a Sunday <laughs> than in our company yes. looking at other people's watches? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and uh, how do you feel about Basel Fair in general? I mean, will, will, do you feel this oh, is... That was I know you will be a champion. Question. Yes. But uh, But is it the end? I don't think so. No. You're very kind. It's because you're, you're so good-natured. No, really, I think... They have done uh, at least part of their whole work in the time they had uh, disposal. And, and what do you think of the demilitarized zone they've got? I mean, as I call it, the DM zone. Oh, yeah, that's a good way of putting it, actually. I it, very much like that. It's actually. very nice, but you go there and you think you've reached the end of the world, and in the far distance you see the Breitling booth. Well, I think the one that benefited well, the most was Breitling. Of, yeah, they've taken over the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Of course. But uh, the fact is that all these uh, pavilions were standing, yeah. including Breitling. Indeed. So. You know, he was very happy to be there. Yeah, of course. And um, the fact is also that uh, by the end of this fair, we have to take everything down. No. Ah. Yes. What are the costs? Ah. I know you're too discreet, but how significant are the costs of um, dismantling and then rebuilding the stand? And you well, have to use the Basel World contractors, correct? Which are no, I mean, you know, things have really changed, oh, well. and they're changing. 
and uh, I think by the end of this fair they will announce mm -hmm. that uh, the costs will also be different, I mean lower. Because my, mm -hmm. my hotel room yeah. is really expensive. You know, you know, they went out of their way saying, oh, don't worry, we're going to talk to all the hotel operators, we're going to make sure no, that they... The, the big difference is really, mm -hmm. you don't have to, we don't have to reserve for the whole fare anymore. Okay. Yeah, you that's can true. These that's true. days when, that's true. when you... Mm -hmm. yes, but it's still yeah. very expensive. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. You know? But... Uh, do, they, do they force you to entertain still, though? Not necessarily. Okay. I think mm -hmm. things have really changed, and I think they'll be changing okay. even more. Yes. No. Well, you know... Well, when was your first parcel fare? My first puzzle fair was probably uh, when I came here in shorts, you know, uh, kind of uh, ten years old. Ten years ago, in other know. words, yes. Amazing. Um, Amazing. But uh, I think I sp calculated I spent a year of my life in Basel now, basically. Wow. All together. They should give you the freedom, yes. the freedom yes. of the freedom of the city. Award. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, I will have the great pleasure of joining you uh, in the Mila Miglia. Will you be driving? Yes. Great. We'll, we'll have a family team. I'll be driving with... Uh, Your daughter? Because when I, came, when I came yeah. last year, I, went, I was asking, because I, I drove with Franco Beretta, and I was asking for you, and you'd apparently stopped, sort of, two, 20 miles outside breath with Jackie X and decided to go kind of wine tasting and... Um, uh, oh, can I do that? Because I'd rather no, do that. No, what we did is yeah. we went... Off to Tuscany, we waited, ah. there. <laughs> and then we we lined up again and at the end. I'm going with that. Yeah, that's I'm the one. That's the one. We go straight into Forte di Mami oh, and sit on the beach like co-pilot. That you're taking your life in somebody else's well, hands. Because, you know, uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to operate the stick ship, so he's going to probably be doing the majority of the driving. And if we, we maybe we'll meet you in Tuscany, actually. Oh, because, uh, okay, that, that well, could be I'll fun. give you I'll yeah. give the name and address of the... Thank you, sir. Your yeah. Because <laughs> <Yeah. I am laughs> do get, it does get quite tiring, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. And especially if the weather turns a bit nasty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Um, and I will visit your shop as well, because I'm going to the Monaco Grand Prix. Uh, so I will pop around to our time. Guys, uh, any last uh, questions you have uh, for Mr. Schäufele or for the great Nick Fox? Nick, we love you. You're amazing. You're very kind to say so. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Great to be here with you.